I believe I was 11 or 12 years old. I was 12 years old. I was in sixth grade, so I guess that's about, what, is that like 11 years old? I was seven. I was 13. When I was first introduced to Harry Potter, I was 13 years old, and now I am 23 years old. I am 23. I am 21. And I am now 24 years of age. And now I am 23 years old, and I love it just as much. I'm currently 24, so over the span of 13 years, I've just have loved Harry Potter. I believe it was in fifth or sixth grade, my teacher actually started reading the first book out loud to the class. In eighth grade, I remember Mrs. Johnson, she started reading them to our class. My second grade teacher read to us the first book. I think I've always been a fan of fantasy books. I like fantasy stuff, it's my favorite. Plus the magic, I was always kind of into that, like kind of fantasy books when I was that age. I just really enjoyed learning about magic. I mean, every kid likes the idea of just magic. I love magic. Like, I for real think it's possible. You know, when I was younger, I really liked reading the Chronicles of Narnia, and so Harry Potter was just, I guess, a more um, modern, more relatable kind of fantasy. When I started reading it, they were right around my same age, and like going through the series, I could totally relate because every book was about around the same age that I was. Harry Potter was relatively the same age as me. And so I like to picture myself within the story. Uh, I didn't really like reading before, and like we had to do AR points in middle school, which sucked. Uh, but Harry Potter like gave you like tons of points, and it was like super fun to read anyway. And like it's one of those books that you just don't want to put down. I was just amazed that like reading was kind of fun, and like I remember just lying on my bed and just turning page after page. I had never picked up a book that I wanted to finish in like a day. Like I couldn't put it down. My eyes would hurt so bad after reading. You had to read every book that came out in 24 hours. I had to share the books with my sisters and my brother. You know, really just made me just read really fast, you know, through the night sometimes. We'd actually like rip the books in half to like share like the first end and the second end. When a book came out, you just read it. You didn't sleep, you didn't eat, or you ate while reading it. Just, you didn't rest until the book was finished. Which made it hard because then you were just done with the book so fast that you had to wait another like six months for the next one to come out or a year or whatever it was. After the, the first night where you read the whole book, and then you have to wait another year or two years for them to come out. It's really frustrating. It was so hard waiting for the next book to come out. Especially with some of the endings, like book six, when I died, like, oh my gosh, I cried. It was so disturbing and sad, and I kept thinking like, this can't be real, he can't be dead. I'd have to pick one and seven, just because the first one is so magical, how it's like brand new, how he just barely is finding out, and then the seventh one is just like, bam, like this is what's going on, and it's just like a huge fight scene the whole time. Uh, my favorite book was the second. I'm equally terrified and fascinated with spiders, and so the whole uh, spiders in the forest thing was just fascinating to me. And then my physics teacher in high school shattered that dream when he told me it would be impossible for spiders to ever get that big. The third book is my favorite Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I've read it more times than any of the others. You know, you meet Sirius, they're getting a little bit older, they win the Quidditch finals, there's a lot of triumph. So my favorite book is book four, The Goblet of Fire. I guess it's just like, that's where Harry Potter really matured. Not necessarily him himself, but like the story really just took off. I think I would have to say the sixth one. For some reason, just Harry and Dumbledore against the world in the end of that sixth book was just, I loved it. My favorite book would probably be the last book because it just completes the story. It sacrificed some of the characters and any good story does that. Part of the beauty of Harry Potter is all of the great character development and you just love all of the characters. I dislike Hagrid. I always was excited whenever Hagrid was in the picture. I think he's a big dumb elf. I think one of the most lovable characters is probably Hagrid just because he's such a, you know, kind of an oaf. I don't know why Harry would ever like him. I think he's an idiot. He's always messing stuff up. Hagrid. Just big, lovable, always messing up, but you just love Hagrid. He has a sucky beard. I wanted him to perish. I would say I view Ron probably the same way as some people view Edward Cullen. I was like Dobie. Dobie's super dorky, but he's super loyal and really helpful to Harry. You've got to help them, sir. If the sorting hat were placed on your head, which house would you be sorting? Slytherin! <laughs>
I think it's because I kind of have a mean sense of humor sometimes. I'm very smart with an evil twist, perhaps. Gryffindor? I would be sorted into Gryffindor if the hat, sorting hat was placed on my head because I am brave. Gryffindor. And the reason why? Because I am brave. I mean, we all hope for Gryffindor. I mean, I, I would hope Gryffindor, you know, just... I mean, like, I want to say Gryffindor. And if it were Slytherin or Hufflepuff, that would be a huge disappointment. Who wouldn't want to be a Gryffindor, you know? No one wants to be a Hufflepuff or even a Slytherin. Um, I don't know if I have the brains for Ravenclaw. Not smart to be Ravenclaw, so I'd hope, I hope that I could be considered brave enough to be in Gryffindor. But, I mean, Gryffindor would be what I would like to think that I was placed in. I just feel like it's noble, I just feel like it's kind of noble and cool, but I feel like also, like, Gryffindor would be cool, like this, like, nobility, the, no, the nobility of it, but I think Ravenclaw kind of always seemed a little bit appealing. It's Stu a little hut, and I liked his dog Fang, but Hagrid, just get gone. Like, the spiders in book two? Are you kidding me? I just, everything he does is just, he's an idiot. I can't handle him. That is why I have such a hatred for him.